Welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're now going to return to the tune Lazy John. Um, I've already done a lesson on this tune in which I show you the basic melody on fiddle, and I'll put a link to that in the um, description below. In this video, we're going to learn to play the chords and sing it, okay? So I'm going to start by just doing it. And then I'm going to break down and show you what I did and kind of do it more slowly so that you can get this. All right? So here we go. Work all week in the noonday sun. Fifteen cents when Saturday comes. Going to your dad's and have some fun. Why don't you get away, lazy John? Lazy John, lazy John. Why don't you get this work all time? actually be a one person band if you did this because you could play the chords sing it and then launch into the melody and then do it again and if you're stomping your foot then it's like you know you got the whole thing the whole picture you got the drums you got the backup chords you got the melody you've got the singing all right so um there are three chords in this tune d g and c i play very simple chords um, I like to show simple chords because I just mainly want to get you rolling on this and just take it with a grain of salt because there's more interesting and different ways you can do the chords on the fiddle. Okay, so the first chord we'll do um, is uh, D and it's where that, for that we'll play G1 and open D. Play that for a while. It sounds really nice. Just make sure it's in tune. That's G1 and open D. For our G chord, we simply lift the first finger and play open G and open D. And then for our C chord, we put first finger on D string. So D1 and open G. And that's it. If you want to learn more about chords, I have maybe like five or six videos on how to, how chords work, some of the theory behind it, which I'm not going to get into now, but I'll put some links to that as well in the comments field below or description field. Um, hold on. Come on, buddy. Cat wants to join the lesson. Okay. So, uh, let's get started. Um, and I also, well, let's get started. The first chord is D. So work all week. All right, so maybe what we'll do is I'll have you just first cycle the chords a little bit for each part, and then we'll put together the singing with the chords. So if you were to just play chords, work all week in the noonday sun. So the verse just goes from D to G. And now let's, and we're not going to do any rhythms, we're just going to play long notes. D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Okay, so that's D, G, D, G, and then we do that whole thing twice, to, and that's one verse, all right? So this is a point where I recommend you pause the video, practice that until you just have it down pat. All right, so the chords to the chorus, I'm just going to do those. It's C, D, D, G. So we're going to go C, two, three, four, to D. D again. And repeat all that. All right, so again, just cycle on that a whole bunch till you got it down really well. All right. Um, so now let's go back to the verse and try to put together singing and playing. So before we, we do that, so you've already practiced the chords, so let's practice the singing. Work all week in the noonday sun. So you're going to first just kind of get that whole verse down, be able to sing it without playing. So this is another point where you could pause the video 
and practice just your singing of this. Okay, thanks for doing that. Um, and so, I'm gonna just go into this very slowly, assuming you're a beginner at it, and um, work, if we just, the easiest way to start is to play the chord that corresponds to the first word of the chord, which is weak. We're all weak. And you just do that a whole bunch till you can just do it without even thinking about it. We're all weak. We're all weak. We're all weak. We're all weak. Okay? And then when we go to the G chord, the word will be sun. Sun. All right. So let's try to loop slowly on the first line. All right. Work all week in the noonday sun. Work all week in the noonday sun. Work all week in the noonday sun. Work all. Week Maybe that's too hard. If it is, then go back to just playing one chord. Just playing like so. So, so it's just automatic. And even if you make it through today, maybe tomorrow it'll be hard and you'll have to go back and do it really step by step. Basically, what we just did is the process that you'll do for the entire song. Alright? So you go line by line until you can sing it. Maybe just start with the verse. Maybe the first two lines of the verse or the first line of the verse like we just did. Um, now let's say you get the whole verse down and you can totally do those long notes and it's no problem. The next thing you could add to it would be hoedown. So you could try it. Work all week in the noonday. So before you even trying to do a chord change, which makes it significantly harder I think, just do the hoedown and sing a little bit of the line, like Work all week Work all week Work all week Work all week in the noonday Work all week in the noonday Work all... And then you can, you can add sun Work all week in the noonday sun. Work all week in the noonday sun. Work all week in the noonday sun. And there's other rhythms you could do. Those are just two suggestions to start with the long bows and the hoedown. And so that's pretty much it. That because that process carries over to the chorus. You do the same thing like. You might want to start with just lazy. The first chord of the chorus, remember, is C. Lazy John. And just do that a whole bunch. Lazy John. Maybe you're a guy with a really deep voice. Lazy John. Maybe a girl with a really high voice. Oh, I can't do that. It's way beyond my abilities. Lazy John. And then do the next chord. Lazy John. Just the D chord. Lazy John. And then you slowly work through and put it together. So maybe you'll do the first two chords of the chorus. Lazy John. Lazy John. Repeat it. Lazy John. Lazy John. Lazy John. Lazy John. So on. You just want to do that so much. So loop on it forever until you just you're not having to think. Again, I keep saying that, but it's really important. All right, it's the way to practice. You can do anything. If you loop stuff, loop little parts. You can really learn anything on this instrument, I believe, or any other instrument you want to use. Use these practice techniques for anything. Okay, so I think that about covers what I wanted to cover on this tune. Uh, there will be chords in the description and a little bit of the lyrics as well to get you going. And I'm glad you made it to the end. Good persistence on your part. And we'll see you next time on the Fiddlehead Fiddle Channel. Bye! Thanks for watching.